I spent uh, a dozen years working in Whitehall um, across a number of government departments and uh, about eight or nine years working now uh, for BT. Um, when people have asked me uh, how do the two compare, I've often said it's a bit like an English person meeting someone from Australia. At face value, you speak the same language. Uh, you think you know something about each other, but there is something different. I've known WIG uh, both as a civil servant and also working in industry. Um, I've been on a number of their courses. They're still working on me and I'm still learning. I don't know if I've got all my swimming badges uh, on my WIG tracksuit, but I think I've done pretty well over the years. Um, I've done um, mentoring, both in terms of being a mentor and being uh, mentored, uh, which is an invaluable um, experience uh, and, and very enjoyable in, in either, either role, very insightful. Um, I've been fortunate to be on uh, a couple of WIGS courses um, in terms of bringing together people from the public and private sector really around the theme of leadership. Whenever you bring together a peer group from different organisations, uh, it's an unusual person who says that they haven't learned anything. There is a special alchemy about WIG events because you bring together a mix across the sectors. Um, uh, at the two WIG courses I've been on, there's a special moment when people in the room realise that it's not actually uh, the differences between public and private sector that are really there, but it's the differences between people who work across the public sector, maybe in, in neighbouring government departments or in neighbouring adjacent industries. Um, and it is a special mix because it forces you to reflect on how you see the world, how you see your organisation, how you work, and also your challenges, which of course are always special to you, they're important to you. But to understand how people are maybe confronting some of the same challenges around, I don't know, making an organisation uh, more cost effective, uh, making it better at what it does. Just to take that moment back and to listen to others talking about how they're wrestling with it and their successes and failures is very insightful. There is a very nerve-wracking moment at the start of an exchange course, uh, just like uh, the new school classroom. Uh, there are eight uh, members of the civil service and eight people from industry. Um, and what's often the case is the people in the civil service more or less know each other or have heard of each other, and people in industry um, is curiously diverse uh, and nobody's ever met each other. Um, so I think there's quite a lot of inspection of the list of names and job titles. Uh, huge confusion as to um, uh, what each one means uh, and I suspect mentally a little bit of just comparison as to where people people stand in relation to one another. Um, uh, and I describe that slightly daunting, slightly scary moment deliberately in those terms because that's what we is about. It is so easy to look at another organisation, to see the job title and to be inwardly daunted by it. Director General of Climate Change, um, which if you are working in industry and your responsibility is some, maybe some extraordinary consumer product that everyone has heard of, somehow um, looking into Whitehall um, the roles, the descriptions, these permanent undersecretaries uh, and these, these ministers, um, they, they, can, they can be uh, confusing and they can be daunting because it doesn't make sense. It's not something you relate to. And there's a curiosity about what people really mean when they start to talk about their, for example, their leadership challenge or they talk about things like accountability. And my experience of WIG courses is there's always a moment in which people reach for definitions. I really want to understand what you mean by accountability. And courses create that space in which people do have to confront some of their long-held beliefs, sometimes prejudices, and their perceptions, and have the opportunity to knock them about, uh, usually in very good humour, but um, also with a chance to reflect and to wonder how their organisation is perceived by those that they're working with. Uh, and how they relate to people outside their organisation and often a search for a common language and that's not necessarily the same word but making sure that the meaning that's intended in what your own organisation does resonates outside your own organisational front doors.